Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about research proposal for a PhD application and uh, I will share my own experience. Uh, what was the process? How did I write my research proposal? How did I refine it? So uh, in my first draft of research proposal, what I did, I uh, wrote three sections. So first one was introduction, second one state of art and the third one research question like what am I going to address if I got admitted for PhD. So uh, in introduction, I just provided a, a general information about my research area. Uh, and then in state of art, what I did, I provided a brief summary for all the research articles. So let's say I read 10 article in order to prepare this research proposal. So for each of those article, I prepared a small summary. And then in the third section, uh, I included the search question. I just provided an idea like these are the problems I'm going to address. These are the research question. So uh, my supervisor, who is also my current supervisor. So at that moment, he reviewed my research proposal and uh, his uh, feedback was very valuable at that moment to refine my research proposal further. And what he suggested me that instead of writing a summary for each article separately in a state of art, try to synthesize all of these uh, information. So by synthesizing, I mean when you are reading some articles in order to prepare your research proposal, try to see some uh, similarity, try to see some differences. So uh, what I will suggest you just think like if you read 10 articles and you have to tell your friend about the information you gained from those 10 articles. So how you are going to present that information? What did you learn from those 10 articles? So in that manner, uh, it will be more effective. So this was the first feedback, which was very helpful. And uh, in the second draft, I did that and uh, he also suggested me to write a research methodology like, okay, uh, I have presented my research question, but uh, how do I address those research questions? So he suggested me to include a research methodology section. So after writing these, uh, after refining state of art again and including this research methodology, this was my second draft and my supervisor again reviewed this second draft and uh, for his final feedback, uh, he also suggested me to include research plan. So by research plan, what I mean is that, so uh, in research methodology, you are saying how you are going to do, but in research plan, you are going to tell with a timeline. So for instance, what I did, I prepare a table. And in that table, I mentioned uh, like four years, each year, two semesters. And I provided an idea like in each semester, what kind of work I'm going to do. So for instance, in the starting of your PhD, you can mention like, okay, in first semester, I'm going to address the state of art. And in the second semester, I'm going to uh, define my research questions. And then in second year, I'm going to address them and then publishing in journal article, then starting my thesis. So in that way, you can present an overall overview of your PhD. And uh, one more important thing what I did, what my supervisor suggested me to do, to present the overall PhD through a single diagram. So that diagram actually included like component, what is the context of the research? So the first layer context and then research problem, then research objective, and then what will be the contribution? So it was just an idea. Uh, so you, uh, I can understand that uh, in case if you are not very much contract, uh, concrete, sorry, but still in that case, that diagram can play a very important role because the person who is reviewing your research proposal can just look at that diagram and he can understand your entire PhD plan quickly. So this is the way I wrote my research plan for this uh, PhD application and uh, I hope uh, this information will be useful for you. In case if you have any doubt regarding uh, 
any of the information I have mentioned in this video just feel free to write to me and at the last uh, just to mention uh, so I am in school of digital technology and the uh, experience I am sharing here is for school of digital technology in other school I think the process must be same but I'm not sure but this is for sure for school of digital technology in Tallinn University thank you very much for watching